Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Joe Flash and we're back with more Spider-Man movie video games for the Nintendo GameCube Green Goblin mode. We're about to get into level 18, Chemical Chaos. There's nothing more need to be said, let's just go ahead and get into it. So this is going to be similar to the last level we played called Breaking In and Ring, where we have to sneak around. Yep, here we go. We use the shadowed areas or stay on the ceiling to avoid detection by the guards. Yep. So we got to sneak around again, as we did in the last level. But this one is kind of a little bit more intense. But anyway, here's our starting. So here's this random scientist right here. In case... I don't remember his name. I think his name is mentioned. or I don't know if it is mentioned. But anyway, um... This doctor is pretty much going to help us along the way. So this is the room that we pretty much start in. And what we have to do is we have to get around this Oscorp area. And hang on, let me go through this door. Yep, got to keep eye peels for patrols as well as the security guards. So here is what we can do. So we can use our goblin glider to sneak up top. So what we got to do is we have to run around Oscorp, and you can see that there's a B, A, C, and D logo next to our right. What we have to do is prevent chemicals from going off, because like I said, unfortunately there's no cutscene here because we're, Spi we're Green Goblin and not Spider-Man. But anyway, a, a cutscene happens where that doctor we bumped into is pretty much going to help us out. I don't, know, I don't know if he's really going to talk to us or not, but basically what happens is there's another doctor who's trying to attempt to perform chemical chaos while it's not really technically ready, and... It's kind of a bad thing, and pretty much we got to stop that from happening. So we got to collect the chemicals A, B, C, and D, and try to stop the chemicals from going off. You know, we have to perform it correctly too, because you know, look, I'll just I'll just show you. But anyway, um, let me go in here and see if there's anything in here real quick. Okay, no, there's not. We're good. Watch out for that security guard. Just gotta watch out for security guards as usual. Um, there's only one right now, so I think we're gonna be okay if we take him out quickly. Just gotta watch out for spotlights, too. This place, this area is a little bit more secure than I think the last area, if I'm not mistaken, either. So we gotta be a little bit more careful here. So we do need to be a little bit more careful in this area, but should be a piece of cake. Nothing to really worry about too much, I don't think. So I think we're gonna be okay, but... So here's a guard. I'm actually going to maybe take this one out, even though I don't really need to, but I think I'm going to take him out because he's just, a, he's just a serious little guard, you know, he's just a guard, so I think I'm going to take him out when he comes over here, so just got to watch, just got to wait for him to be away from the spotlight so I don't get caught at the same time, because I can more than likely get caught here a lot more easier than I can in the other area, so I got to be more careful here. Like I said, I don't really need to KO him, but... It would make things a little bit more easier for me if I get rid of this guy, you know what I'm saying? So he doesn't catch me, you know what I'm saying? Man, it's cold in here. Like I said, I don't really need to take him out, but I'm going to because it'd be easier for me, you know what I'm saying? So we just need to get rid of him. No one wants for dinner tonight. Intruder! Tom and ugly. Uh... There he goes. I don't even know what those were, but it looks like they may have helped for our advantage. Anyway, so we took him out, so now there's no more uh, guards, so... We're pretty much all good to go wherever we want. We could even come on the floor if we want to. We don't even need to get on the ground anymore. But anyway, so uh, I think we're safe right here if I show you here. So yeah, here is this room. So that's the room. Basically, those are where the chemicals are being performed, and that's where we have to put in the correct... Like, once we collect some of the chemicals, you know, we got to go into this room and perform it correctly and stop those chemicals from being performed. Like, I'll show you a bit later on when we collect it. But anyway, let me go ahead and get by. Oh, there's another guard. Yikes. Good, I'm in an area. Alright. Let's see if I can sneak up on this guy. I might actually try to, so... Uh, let me just wait till he goes around me, and I'll go after him. Hey, isn't that... oh, yeah. Good night. Uh... Good night, cue ball. <laughs> oh, I'm hitting the chemicals on myself. Oh, man. I didn't even realize my health bar was going low. Dang it. Well, lucky for me, there's a thing right here. I didn't even know I was actually getting myself hit by those chemicals. But anyway, we're good. Spotlights, it's easier than the spotlights. But anyway, we got to get through this door. Now, this is where things can get intense. This was not featured in the last level that we did, these lasers. This is a new feature that's featured in this, in this level. 
as you can see, we got to get through these lasers, but this is going to be tricky hard. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get past this because you have to time just right in order to get through them. I have no idea if I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to more than likely get caught, but I'll try my best. I was lucky enough to be able to make it through. That was a tough one, but we have to time it correctly with these kinds of things to be able to get through. And this is another tough one. We have to get around here because if we try to go onto the ground, we're going to get spot because there's spotlights as well as these lasers. So this is really, really getting tough. So we really, really need to be careful now. I mean, I'm probably going to get caught, but I'll try my best. I mean, I think I've did this before with Green Goblin, but it's a lot easier with Spider-Man because, you know, you can aim the webbing and all that stuff. But here you can see we got to get through this and I'm going to try my best. Damn it, I got hit. Let me stay in a shadow. Oh, they got rid of my... Okay, they just got rid of my little razor bat. Okay, I thought they caught me. I was like, what? Because I was in a shadow. How did they spot me? Nah, they just got rid of my razor bat. That's all. Okay. Well, I'm good. Just wait till that alarm goes off and we'll be good. Just gotta stay hidden. I almost made it through that, but I was, t but I actually touched one laser at the last minute before I could make it through. So I almost got through that. Luckily, there's a shadow area we can hide in. It's gonna take a bit of a while, I think, because this is a pretty big area. Like I said, it's a larger area than in the last level, so it might take a little bit of time for us to be able to get through everything. But we'll do our best here. <sighs> Oh, they're really struggling to find me here. Apparently, they're not giving up. You can even tell when enemies are trying to look for you. You can also tell that the late, uh, that the um, um, the music gets louder too, as well. The music was starting off quiet, but the music gets louder if the alarm is going off. Like you heard that in the last level as well, if you did. But anyway, Jesus, they're taking forever. Go, y'all give up or what? Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about this level, is that whenever you get caught and you're trying to hide from enemies, for some reason the damn alarm takes a lot more time to finally stop and they give up. Like, for some reason in this level, they don't give up so easily. Like, in the last level, they can give up after like a minute or two when they can't find you, but here they take forever. See, I'm trying to patiently wait for them to go away, but these people won't give up. I don't know why these robots don't want to give up. What the hell? He's right there! Right there! No wonder, the robots are right there. Are you kidding me? Fuck it, I gotta fight them. I guess I gotta fight them then, because they were standing right there the whole entire time. They never even moved. Robots. Is that alarm still going off? No wonder. I guess my razor bat apparently distracted them enough where apparently they didn't even bother moving. What the f Are you freaking kidding me? Just go away! You're not gonna find me! Why are you still here? God, do you see that white right there? That's another robot. God! This is actually pissing me off. I've been waiting patiently for like the past few minutes for them to give up so I can continue on, but I can't because these robots keep coming. Fuck this! Fuck you guys! Fuck you guys! Seriously! Now you're gonna have to make me fight y'all! And I'm gonna die! Bitch, I'm about to die now because of you. I hate y'all. I hate you all so much. If I die, this is your fault. If I die because of you. Yep, you got that right here. Yep, that's what we gotta do. We gotta go to each room and collect them and inject them into the chemicals. So here's A. We're gonna collect that first. I need some health real badly, because the next time I get assaulted by a, by a robot, I'm gonna freaking die. What the hell?! <sighs> Fuck this. You know what? Fuck this. I'm looking for a health right now. 
Oh! And I can't even go anywhere else until... That's it. I'm dead. That's it, guys. I'm dead. I can't get any more health. I'm dead. There's nothing I can do. I can't get any more health. I pretty much have collected all the health bars. That's a freaking... Watch. I'm gonna die. I can't find any more health. I'm dead. That's... Fuck! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear that goddamn music. Fuck you. Literally, fuck you. <sighs> I can't believe those super soldiers didn't even give up after I was hiding. They were standing there the whole entire time after they took my goddamn razor bat out, causing me to wait forever, and then I had to be forced to fight them bitches. <sighs> that actually pissed me off. I ain't even gonna lie to you. That actually pissed me off. I'm actually pissed off now. That was bullshit. The robots should have just gave up. Why the fuck do they not give up? Hey, is fuck you. You're not getting the goddamn alarm, you prick. Oh, yeah. uh. Hate your stupid ass. Get out of here. I'm not in the mood right now. Now you just pissed me off. Everything was going just fine until those goddamn robots would not refuse to give up, and now I had to be forced to fucking... <sighs> I'm sorry to get so pissed off, y'all. That was bullshit. Literally, those robots should have given up. When I was away from them, like, how the fuck do they not give up? Sound the alarm! <sighs> and of course I get hit by those stupid, st stupid chemicals again, and I'm almost about to run out of health already. I, I really don't like this level too much, to be fair. It's not that bad, but it's kind of chaos for me, honestly. I, I'm not a big fan of this level. It's pretty stressful. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not even gonna hold a grudge. It's pretty stressful. It's a stressful level. You know what I'm saying? Even when it's uneasy, it's still stressful as hell. Because you just really gotta focus, like, like gotta get out. And, you know, you just gotta really focus and shit. It, it's, it's fucked up. You know what I mean? It's so fucked up. Like, I really do not like this level. Okay, I made it through that time. Thank God I made it through that time. I almost could have imagined if I would have messed that up again. Ooh, that's a nice combo. I like that. Better try that on a guard if I see one. I'm sorry to get so worked up, y'all. That was bullshit. I don't know why the fuck those robots wouldn't give up and just go away and stop the alarm. Like, they were... Start the process in this room. Alright, shut up, Harry. I know what to do. It was just bullshit. Like, you saw that? I thought that they would be gone by now after they destroyed my razor band and they kept walking around, but instead they were just standing there the whole entire time like they knew I was there and was waiting for me. Like, I had to be forced to get on down there and fight them. And because there was no more health, health, red health spiders for me to collect, I obviously wasn't going to be able to have anywhere else for me to collect one for me to fucking get my health back up, and so therefore I died. God, that was bullshit. I hated that. That was a terrible way to start that level off. Well, hopefully my second attempt here goes more smoother. So far I'm doing a lot better here. So hopefully this will go smoother for me. Here's the second one. And this is where we now need to get into that chemical room, which we just passed by with that spotlight, where now we need to put these chemicals in. See, this is better. This is what should have happened. I don't know why it didn't work. Look, I don't... There are two control terminals. I wonder which is the right one. I bet there's some information by the terminal that'll match up with the control rooms. Yep, there is. So listen to Harry when he says that, because we gotta look at the right ones with the right letters on them. As you can see, that C and D, we can't put them in that one, because that'll activate the chemicals if we make a wrong move. So we gotta put them in the correct one, which is this one, A and B. But anyway... I don't, I don't mean to get so mad, but it was just so bullshit. Like, I don't know why I didn't work in the first attempt. Like... Back then when I was a kid, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, back then when I did this as a kid, I used to have a difficult with this level. Like, I kept dying so many times because I just wasn't able to sneak past guards or spotlights or lasers that good enough. Like, I couldn't even figure out how to get past the lasers. I didn't know how to do Spider-Man's web zip thing at the time to do that, so... I was pretty shit with this level back then as a kid. I kept dying multiple times. It was pretty stupid. It was, it was horrible, but thankfully I can get through it, but it can still be bullshit. Like, I really don't like this level. It's probably... This level, in my opinion, is probably my most disliked level in this game. Like, I really do not like this one. It's just too stressful and everything. But anyway, let's continue on. That's all I got left to say. It's a stressful level, in my opinion. So, yep, there's the first chemicals put in. 
So now that those are taken care of, now we need to go back outside, and we should find the ones for D and C, uh, C and D, and put those in, and then after when we put those in, that'll be the end of this level. So we're, we're halfway done. Pretty much when you put those chemicals in, you're pretty much halfway done. So we gotta get into this room now. And actually, we couldn't open this door. When I was actually trying to get away from guards, this door wouldn't actually open, so apparently you have to collect the E and B the A and B chemicals and put them in the slot before you can get through this door because when I was trying to get away from those robots to try to find a health in here I couldn't get away from them and go through this door so you have to do them in order to get through this door but anyway we did it so we can get through now I can only imagine if there was a health bar in here that maybe I could have collected to juice up my health for me to recover if I was in trouble but I have no clue okay anyway so I think there was, I don't know, but anyway, so here's another stressful part. This part I used to always get caught in, in my opinion. I used to always get caught here, because this is back then when I couldn't figure out how to do Spider-Man's zipline, but here with Green Goblin, I think it's a little more easier, because as you can see, there's spotlights on the floor, we can easily just get above them, and with the lasers, we just need to avoid touching one of them, that's all we just need to do, so... I think what we can do is, we can just go through in here, and we just need to time the right timing to land we just need to avoid the spotlight so this is easy like this is a lot easier than doing this with spider-man because as you can see all we can just do here is just try to get around these these lasers and we just try to like get away from like the spotlights you know what i'm saying yes did it Woo! that was actually a little bit tough but like i said with green goblin it's kind of a little bit easier because we got a goblin glider to like to like bounce around, you know what I'm saying? Let's hide in the shadow. Make sure there's no security guards around. Uh, I think we're good. I don't think there's any more security guards. I think we're good. Yep, we're good. So this area is, is pretty damn safe. It's nothing to be worried about. So it's not that much of... What the heck is that? Is that a spotlight too, or what is that? I'm not even going to go into it. I'm not going to risk it. Oh, there's another one. I can only imagine those are probably spotlights too. I don't know, but I'm not gonna risk it, so I'm just gonna just continue on. Which door? Which door did we just go through? Better save this for when I need it. Oh, this door doesn't open. Okay. Oh, that must be the door that you can like. You can't open it, but it must be like where you can see through the other side of the wall if you're on the other side of the room. That's pretty cool. But never mind. We got to get through this door now. And another laser. This one's a little tougher because you can see the pattern that goes on in this one. This one's harder. I'm probably going to more than likely get caught in this one because this one's harder to do. This one is tough. Like, look at this. The patterns are a little bit different in this one, and I don't like it. I'm just going to try to time it if I see the right moment when there's not that much space. <laughs> Woo, I got lucky. See, it's a lot faster to be able to use Goblin's Glider to, like, get around them instead of, like using the um, Spider-Man's web zip, because if we were to try to do that with Spider-Man, we would more than likely get caught, because it would be a lot tougher. Goblin's glider is kind of a lot faster, so there we go. Um, nothing around us. There's no security guards, so we're good. We can get on down here. Now, um, where's that door at? Oh, this door, yeah. I think there is a combo we can collect in here. Yep. Head hammer. I do barely remember that combo. That's a pretty cool one. I like that. Anything up here? Nope. This is an area we can hide in if we wanted to. But anyway, so when we collect C and D, we need to be careful because after we collect C, when we try to go over here to collect D after we get C, the door is actually going to be locked at first when we try to get D because apparently the doctor that I was talking about that wants to test the chemicals apparently finds out that something is wrong and he'll be coming after us and what we have to do is we have to jump onto the ceiling so as soon as he comes we need to just jump on our goblin glider and get up on the ceiling and avoid him from catching us because if he sees us the alarm is going to get raised and he's going to run all the way back to the start of the level and you know it's going to take us a longer time for us to get <gasps> excuse me get all the way back here just to just to like continue on with the mission you know what i'm saying so like he'll literally run all the way back to the start you know what i'm saying and that will be bull crap so we can't afford that so, we just need to jump. I tried to attempt to go through this door as I quickly could when that happened, but I wasn't fast enough. You're never fast enough to get through this door in time, so you just need to just jump up on the ceiling and just 
get up here. That's all you really gotta do. So, I'll show you in a minute. I don't know if there's gonna be a cutscene that's gonna show him walking towards us. We have to do it as quickly as we can, but never mind. Let's go ahead and get C real quick. Check up on the ceilings to make sure there's nothing up here. Okay, good. Because you never know, there could be something hidden up top, so that's why I'm going to get it, just in case. So here we go. This is where we're going to get D, and this is where we now kind of got to be careful, so watch what happens. Oh no! This door's locked. Now what? Uh-oh. I hear someone coming. Maybe I'll catch a break and I can get the key from him. Oh. So yeah, there he is. Now we need to get away from him. Sounds like a bunch of people. So, yep, we need to get away from him. Okay, come on, jump. Get away from him. We're good, right? Yep. We should be good. There's an intruder here somewhere. Spread out and find it. Yep. So we need to be careful now because now that these robots are out here, we need to watch out for them. So what happens is that we need to get around these robots as well as get that doctor right there. That doctor, I forgot what his name is, but he has the key to get through that door. So we just need to just punch him or kick him, you know, just one hit and he'll die and we get the key to get through the door. So we need to be careful. I almost jinxed that. You saw I got stuck on the door when I was trying to jump. I almost would have jinxed that and he almost would have caught me. I was barely lucky to get away from that. I almost jinxed it. But luckily I didn't miss it. Now, for the robots, you don't really have to worry too much about them because... They pretty much will run around, I think, over here, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. I don't really see them, but they kind of walk slow when you're, like, trying to get the key. You know what I'm saying? And it seems like they're gone. Well, no, there he is. So they walk pretty slow in compared to how they normally walk, and they're just scattering around. So when you see them away from the doctor, just quickly hit him. Yep, and there you go, and you'll get the key from him. And then you go into this door, and then get D. So that's how you do it. So yeah, pretty much, it doesn't, it's not really that hard, because these robots, you know, they're pretty slow when they're trying to scatter around you to make sure that no one's trying to get around and get the doctor to get the key, so that was pretty easy. Like I said, just one hit, and he'll die. I don't think it even matters if he sees you or not. Well, I think if he, if he sees you before you get hit, he'll probably try to run back to the entrance, so you may have to hit him quickly, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, now that we've got the last two chemicals, we can get up on the ceiling and try to get all the way back to the entrance, but we still need to be careful with the robots because those robots can still be around. So, watch out for those robots. I don't see him. I'm trying to make sure I can see him. There he is. Okay. We need to keep an eye on this robot so he doesn't actually see us when we're trying to get back to the entrance way. Otherwise, we gotta be quick. I mean, you know, it's not like it would be that much anyway because even if he was to catch us, we'd be able to make it back to the door and, you know, make it back and complete the level, but... I want to make sure he doesn't see me, so let me just stay up here, wait for him to turn around again, and when he's pretty much far away from the lasers, I'll move forward and I'll continue on. So, this takes a little bit more time. This level kind of takes a little bit more time than the last level we did, which was called Breaking and Entering. This level takes a bit more time because it's this place kind of feels a lot more secure, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, uh, I think we're good now, so let me try to attempt to get through this door. This is going to be tough. I may not make it. You know what? Fuck it. Alright, fuck it. Let me just, just go find the door to get back to the chemical room. Where's the chemical room at? It's this door, right? Alright, jinx it. Let's just get the hell out of here and just get back to where we need to go. We're already caught. Let's just get out of here and just get back to that room we need to go. Let's just get out of here. So there we go. That's it. Yeah. I knew I wasn't going to be able to get through it. It's like trying to get back into the thing is a lot harder than trying to just simply just go through it in the beginning. So that was harder because you saw the laser pattern was kind of different there compared to how it was when the first time we tried to get through that. So that was harder. So I probably wasn't going to be able to do it. But nothing less. We got the last two chemicals. And here we go. Now that we collected all four chemicals, we stopped the experiments. So the chemicals are done. So we... So that completes it, ladies and gentlemen. We stopped the chemicals from going off. That took me a bit of time to complete. I'm not going to lie to you. Look at the time limit on my phone right now. That took me a bit of time to complete that. Yeah, this level is very stressful in a way. And, you know, I don't really like it that much because it's just a lot more just having to require being stealthy and sneaky compared to the last one, breaking and entering. So 
this one will probably take you a bit of time to complete. This one always takes time for me to complete, so that was a little tough, but I got through it. So let's continue on and just save this game. Thank God that level's over. I'm not a big fan of this level, to be fair. I'm not a big fan of the Chemical Chaos level. It's pretty stressful in a bit. So much focus is required, you know. You have to, like, be a super stealthy man to be able to get through this, you know. But it's not that easy either. Anyway, come back here, come back in the next video, ladies and gentlemen. Because when we come back in the next video, we're going to get into the next level, Oscorp's Ultimate Weapon. But until then, I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you have a good one. That'll be it for today, guys. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Just like to give it a thumbs down. Join me next time in the next video. To all you boys, men, and guys out there, boom. Fist bumps got all of you. And to all the girls, ladies, and women out there, come on, kisses got to all of you. But until then, this is Joe Flash signing off, and have a good day.